James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today we'll do a walkthrough how to install the software for the Avier Media. Uh, this is their Avier Media Live Streamer Cam 513. This is their 4K cam. This camera does 4K at, I think, about 30 frames per second. I haven't had hands-on time yet. So you guys are going to see me install the software and first test of the probably camera during this video. Um, so as you know, you guys can see the screen. I'm going to set this box down. Right there is where we're going to want to go, aviermedia.com slash us slash products uh, dash detail slash pw513. So we're going to close that. We're not going to save that. I don't really need that. As you guys can see, I already clicked it, but I can do this paste and come here again. Pulls it up. Here is your camera, the live streamer cam, 513, the PW513. You can go through, read about it if you really want or click download. Download is where we're gonna get the software that we need. We're gonna click download. It automatically is downloading, but if we do this, open when done, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open when we're done, and we're gonna click yes. We're gonna install this software. Let's see how fast this does this. This installer will install Cam Engine on your computer. Click continue. Accept the terms. Agree to send anonymous data. I don't use any send anonymous data, but you guys can if you want. You can read the terms and conditions if you truly want. I'm not going to bother with it. Um, you find your destination. If you don't want to put it in your normal C file, if you guys have other drives, you can do what I do and find one of your other drives. I'm just going to leave it in the C drive and click OK. Now that we're installing, and we're pretty much installed. There we go. Click finish. Now we're installed. We can open up the Avier Media Cam Engine. This is your engine. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You got a preview of what the cam can do. So you got your basic filters like brightness. You can adjust the brightness if you really want it brighter or glow. Contrast. You, you know, find the color that matches your skin or um, what you like the most. Sharpness, stuff like that. They have filters if you want to do skin tone. You know, let me uh, adjust some lighting up here. Maybe get a little brighter in here. Now we got some lighting in here. You guys can see the skin tone change. And probably not a lot of change, but the smoothness. I'm going to restore to... Uh, Effects. So they actually have some effects. Let's download those. Let's see what these do. Instantly downloads. It's pretty quick downloading. I'm not too, too bad about that. I'd say less than probably a minute to download, depending on your guys' download speeds at home. So, itch my eye. So about a minute to download that. That's not bad. Actually, they have some cool effects here. Click the effects. Look, we have a cat. A black cat, a cat, a piggy, a rabbit. Oh, want to put a bow on your head? I know it's not perfect, guys. Um, You know, we're just testing this right off the bat. Afro. It's not going to be perfect unless you have a different view somewhere. Like if I zoom in. Zoom out. I have a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so we don't really need those. Um, so start all AI face tracking composition. So it can actually track me. Wow, oh, hey, AI. That's pretty cool. I like that, that it tracks me. That'll actually come in pretty uh, pretty handy. Now, hopefully you guys, uh, you don't like this. Um, just, you know, some of the things I don't see people put out there is like the walkthroughs of these. So as you can see, the AI is pretty cool. Now, it automatically adjusts composition to speech. Um, let's try that. Talking. Let's move forward. Backwards. Zoom in. Oh, it zoomed out. So zoom out. It's a little backwards, but whatever. That's pretty cool. 
Alright, I like that. Now let's go over to video here. You're up here, you can flip it. You can flip your screen if you want. Oh my god, we're upside down. Back that way. Back that way. Do the same, you know, opposite directions. We can uh, upside down, around, upside down, around. This is mirror. So that is actually technically the way you guys would be seeing my living room. The couch that side. The tree that side. I like that. That's kind of cool. Now we have advanced features, which is gamma white balance. So if you guys want to do some white balancing, make me look really orange or less white balancing, you know, it's going to restore default. Uh, 60 hertz anti-flicker or 50 hertz. I'm going to leave it 60. Exposure. It does not let me adjust exposure for some reason. We can do backlit composition. You know, let's do 20. Oh, it only goes to two. Not bad, not bad. So I kind of like the zoom in. We can move it over and zoom in again. You guys can see my nice little hat. That I, I like that. So that is how to install the Avery Media Live Streamer Cam 513 Cam Engine. Now the camera is awesome. I'm gonna be you know switching over. I'm going to be doing some video testing. You guys can hear the microphone. You guys will be seeing the uh, the camera itself. As you can see right now, we have two cameras. I have the Logitech C922X Pro up in that corner. I believe it's that corner. I think that corner. It's probably this one. And this is the Avion Media right here that you're seeing in the middle of the screen. So what I'm going to be doing is some live streaming testing. I'm going to do some microphone testing. I'm going to actually compare it between three or four different cameras. If you guys don't know, I have several cameras around. So I'll probably put like three or four cameras, have four different camera views, and switch back and forth so you guys can hear the, the microphones, see the quality of the video, and stuff like that. But I wanted to give you the walkthrough of how to install the Avion Media uh, Livestreamer Cam 513 Cam Engine, and have a great day, guys.